that is so sweet. I know it's not real, but it's cute to see on screen. Like a giant music video that just has occasionally drama plot plugged in and not vice versa. DT Apple Dogs Time is a 38 episodes web drama that's being aired on ITE. The drama is led by Li Yitong and Hu Yitian, and it is literally Go Go Squid 2, the sequel to Go Go Squid 1 that did really, really well. The drama's director is the same director of Love is Sweet, Ban Shi Mi Tang, Ban Shi Shang, and Once Upon a Time, there's a Spirit Sword Mountain. This drama finished shooting at the end of August, so it's a pretty fast schedule that now it's out. I've watched the first 14 episodes, so this video is based on those episodes. I also have to let you know that I actually haven't watched the entirety of Gogo Go Squid 1. I do know roughly about what the story is about and who leads it, and obviously because the drama has big popularity, I think most of my audiences know. But this time, I'm coming from the perspective of somebody who really knows close to nothing about the first drama. And based on what I've seen so far, I'm gonna give it a one goat mine rating. And I have the inkling that it's probably gonna stay there till the end of this drama. So now let's get into talking about the details. First, the things I really do like about this drama. This drama has quite a few really good songs in it. And it's also a problem, but I'm gonna talk about it later. But as a positive side, features a lot of music. Its title song is actually written by the same musician who wrote the songs for Guardian. He even sang the song <laughs> this time. For the ending song, it's actually sung by the singer slash actor who played the black spectacle, the uh, Hei Xia's character in Ultimate Note. So to me, there are a lot of familiar faces in this drama, not just the actors, but actually the musicians, the people who sing songs for this drama. The first thing I really like about this drama is there are a lot of good looking people. Okay, can we be honest, frank, and really shallow about that? <laughs> Which is, it's very eye candy. Hui Tian, tall, good looking. Li Tong, sweet, sweet girl. <laughs> and she looks really good in this drama. Wang Anyu, playing a supporting role, Shen Zhe very good looking too. And they all have a pretty nice sense of fashion too. And it's shot with a very lovely style of cinematography that is sitting in the middle between the very cinematic and very video-ish look, which is very suitable for contemporary romantic young adult dramas, not being too overexposed and color graded, but they're not being too frankly honest. So first thing, eye candy, good looking people, good looking clothes, good looking everything in general. The second thing I like about this drama is it actually has quite a lot of comedy and often happening in places unexpected. The interactions between the characters, the little moments, the little gestures, a little bantering, a little weird timing of people doing things, all those little things work really well. So I can tell this director has a very good sense of rhythm, how to make any particular scene, even though they're not so important plot-wise, but enjoyment-wise, very enjoyable. Both the leads and the second leads line are enjoyable, and they help each other work for each other. When the camera is on a particular character or a particular couple, your attention is also with them. You're not so bothered or bored at the times that you feel you want to know what happens to the other couple. The third good thing is, although this drama is a very standard content contemporary young adult romantic drama, because of the nature of the story, it doesn't really require a super difficult level of acting, but people have done a pretty good job throughout. The main ensemble characters you will meet in this drama are pretty much all played at the same level of ease on the natural style of acting side. So although nobody super impressed me with their acting, and I think that's also to do with the script quality, nobody really made me feel really annoyed. And this actually doesn't happen that often to me when I watch contemporary romantic drama, because usually there are a couple of characters that will just make you feel really annoyed. The fourth thing I like about this drama is it does contain some very heightened dramatic romantic moments that's so not realistic. But you actually enjoy watching it. You know it's not real. But because of the director's good gauging ability of not doing it to the point that you feel it's you know, offensive, and yet still pushing it a little bit beyond reality, my little 
dear in my heart does sometimes start to skip when I see, oh, that is so sweet. I know it's not real, but it's cute to see on screen. Although a couple of things are a little bit too much. We can talk about that in the not so good points, which I'm gonna bring up now. First, it really isn't a robot competition drama. I know Gogo Go Squid originally is actually about gaming, but they've changed it in this drama, so it becomes a robot competition thing. When you think back on last year, Crossfire, it's a gaming plus thriller plus some romantic story story. That story has a much deeper and centered focus on gaming itself. It is very much like people dedicate their life to their dreams that type of storytelling right from episode one. Whereas so far in episode 14, although, okay, this, the characters are doing that thing about robot competition, you so feel that the emphasis of the narrative of a poor dog's time is the romantic stories and the robot competition is the side dish. So you have to have the right kind of expectation going into this drama. You need to know you're actually going in for contemporary romantic drama. If you have the flipped expectation, you'll get disappointed. The second thing that I don't quite like about this drama is there are too many slow motion and too many songs in the actual drama. This drama, particularly the early couple of episodes, feel like a giant MV music video that just has occasionally drama plot plugged in and not vice versa. I've counted in episode one, there are literally six songs that happened when time slows down, when the female and the male lead gaze. Ah, oh, the lyrics start to show up on the screen and everything is <laughs> the atmosphere happens with music. If it shows up once or twice in a drama for one episode, okay. You do it six times. And I know they have collaboration with NetEase Music, the app, Wang Yi Yun Yue, because you literally see characters close up of their phone screen playing on that app and actually doing the buttons and showing what the functions are. It's a little bit too much too in your face. It slows down the pace. It destroys the dramatic feeling of it. It even takes you out of the story. So not a big fan of that. The third thing that I don't quite like about this drama is I feel the male lead and female lead's romantic line is not as well written and exciting as the second leads. The second leads are pretty straightforward. They meet and they're like, I like you. I'm gonna pursue you. And I'm gonna be very frank about that. I'm here. Do you wanna date me <laughs> or not? Straight to the point, which is pretty lovely to watch and quite interesting as it develops. Whereas the female lead and the male lead is like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, they're flirting, they're teasing, there's a, a step forward, two step back. And they're doing that all the time for the first however many episodes I've seen. There's no clear, logical obstacles in their life, not from their parents, not from their family, not from any previous story they've had, not really from anything that would stop two free adults pursuing each other. And then this plot moves to the point where the female lead goes to work for somebody who is actually in competition with the male lead. So, you know, like, yeah, at that point, okay, it makes sense that, you know, you're trying to figure out how your relationship can work out. But before that, nothing stopped you. Really? Why? I find it's harder to actually dig into the male lead and female lead's romantic story. They have too many slow down MV moments that doesn't end anywhere. Then the last thing is <laughs> there are a couple of scenes that are really weird in this drama. Okay, so it may put you off. I, I let you know. When our male second first show up, played by Wang Anyu, the character Grunt slash Shen Zhe, he did this really stupid thing <laughs> with the female second that put a lot of people off. And I found that scene totally unnecessary. He got something from the vending machine and literally just drank the water in front of the girl's face, like one inch away from her. I'm like, uh, 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 like, what's the point? After that scene, everything was like normal. He pursuing the female second is actually really funny to watch and makes a lot of sense. I love everything that happened afterwards between them. But the first scene when they first met is like, Ooh, you don't have to do that. It put a lot of people off immediately. And then there are like stupid things such as you see her male lead and her female lead walking and kind of having fun in this not theme park, but some kind of park place. And they got something of the vendor who are selling things like Frappuccino, that type of drink. <laughs> and they walk to this vent uh, on the ground and the guy dragged the girl to the top of it. And when the wind comes, right, it blows up and it's very romantic. And it, it's exactly like the scene from Step Up, the film. I'm old enough to know, unfortunately. <laughs> and it's the same camera angle, the same reaction, literally copied from the film. And that's not the worst. The worst is immediately afterwards, while they're still being blown by the wind from the vent, Hu Yitian start to blow soap bubble out of his plastic straw, out of his frappuccino. 
huh? I don't know. Milk can do that. Like since when? And I went back to look at the whole sequence. Whether there's anything suggesting he actually has hidden that somewhere, or he has some kind of deal with a vendor to surprise the girl. So it's actually not a milkshake. He didn't drink it. Yes, but like there's no signal showing that he's actually doing it on the side to impress the girl. He just started to blow <laughs> soap bubbles out of a milkshake or frappuccino. It's like it does not work. Okay, physically impossible. We still live on Earth. This is 3D. Existence. There are physics and chemistry. There are laws that you just can't change. And the girl, right, just acts all impressed and happy, and she didn't even like question, like, what, what, what are you doing? How did that happen? Anyway, it's drama land, right? It's romantic dramas. Um, anything can happen, <laughs> even in contemporary setting without magic in play. So these are the good things, bad things, things that did put me off a little bit, and things I enjoyed quite a lot in this drama. Overall, I still think this is a pretty watchable drama for me. I'm still watching it. Probably will continue watching it. As it updates, because of Hui Tian, Li Tong, and Wang Anyu, and some of the comedies it has, for example, coming from the supporting role played by the old actor Qin Pei, the grandfather of Han Shangyan and Wu Bai,、oh, he's such a lovely, adorable character, and even the little robot called Wu Liao, boring that does、uh, really funny things in this drama. So it's a very enjoyable, light-hearted. I don't have to think too much. I can offload type of drama. But then again, I don't expect much coming from it apart from that. And probably after I've watched it once, I wouldn't go back to watch it again. But then I wouldn't feel regretful for the time I've spent watching it. That type of drama. That would be my first impression on the drama. 我的时代，你的时代 Google Squid Two DT Apple Dogs Time. What a long name. <laughs> okay. Wish you've had a good time watching this video. As the first video of Chinese Year of the Ox 2021. Please take care, and I'll see you in my next video. Meanwhile, live long and happy drama watching.